In this video, we're going to evaluate the definite integral of tangent cube of x from 0 to pi over 4. And there's a couple of ways we could start this. And I'm going to start by taking this tangent cube of x, breaking it up into tangent of x times tangent squared of x. So what I'm going to do again is evaluate the integral without the uh, limits of integration here, and then we'll finish it up. So this is going to equal to then the tangent of x, and need something I can work with here. I uh, know that tangent squared of x can be written as secant squared of x minus 1. And let's multiply this then by tangent of x. So doing the multiplication here, we get tangent of x times secant squared of x. And I'm going to break, break this up into two integrals. Multiplying here by tangent of x here, I have a minus 1 times the tangent of x. So this would be one integral here. And it's minus the integral of tangent of x. This would be a dx. Now the first integral we can do, we can use a u substitution. So let me do it over here. I can, I'm going to let u equal to, since I know that the, tan, the uh, derivative of tangent is secant squared, I let u equal to tangent of x, then your du would be secant, du would equal secant squared of x dx. And then transform, transforming this into a u integral. Notice here secant squared of x dx is right here. So this would be your du. This would be du. And tangent of x would be u. So let me just put this over here. Then you would have u and du. That's what I would have here. Any great respect to u this will be u squared over 2. And we're dealing with a definite integral, so we don't need the constant of integration here. So this would just be, this would just equal to then u squared over 2. But u is tangent of x, so I'm just going to do it this way. This will be tangent of x squared, I'll put the square here, over 2. And that's would be, that would be the answer for this integral here. Now for the second one, there is a uh, formula for the integral of tangent of x, and I've done that in another video. So I'm just going to put this down and just remind you of that, how to, how to do it if you want to do it. The integral of tangent of x dx is minus natural log of absolute cosine of x. Again, don't need the constant here because we're dealing with a definite integral. And this will be a double negative here. Now I can go over to the initial problem. I want the integral from 0 to pi over 4. So first I have to compute the integration here. And we just did it here. This will be a plus here. So this will be tangent squared of x over 2. Like I said, double negative here. So this is a plus, And this is ln of absolute value cosine of x. So this is the evaluation of this integral. And then we just compute the value from 0. 0 to pi over 4. Okay, so here we go. We evaluate then first uh, the upper limit pi over 4. So we put a pi over 4 here where the x is. The tangent of pi over 4, of course, is 45 degrees. Tangent of pi over 4, 45 degrees, is 1. And then we square the 1, we get 1. And that's over 2. So the first value here is 1 half. Again, pi over 4 here. Tangent of pi over 4 is 1. 
square it, we still get 1, and that's over 2. And then it's plus. Plug it into the cosine here of x. So pi over 4 where the x is, where the uh, x is. Cosine of pi over 4, or if you can think of that of cosine of 45 degrees, it's the square root of 2 over 2. Absolute value of that is still the same. So, and then it's the log of the square root of 2 over 2. And then it's minus the value of that expression at the lower limit, which is 0. So here we have it. The tangent of 0 think that is zero radians or zero degrees, is zero. Square it, you still get zero. So this will be zero for that one when you plug in pi, or zero rather. And then you plug in zero for cosine here, for the x is cosine of zero, whether you look at that as zero degrees, of course here's radians, cosine of zero is one, and the natural log of 1, of course, is 0. So now you just use your calculator and compute the natural log of the square root of 2 over 2. And add 0.5 if you want to that. And that should give you a decimal 1 to 3, uh, to three places. Decimal 1, 5, 3. And this is your answer. For this one. Now just in case you haven't seen this integral evaluated, I did it in another video. I'll go into it here. It's another u substitution. Let's write this as sine of x over cosine of x. Tangent of x is sine of x over cosine of x. This is dx. And then here we'll let u equal to cosine of x. Then du, the root of cosine is minus sine of x, minus sine of x. This is dx. So again, the notice here, sine of x dx, that's this part right here. Let's multiply both sides by a negative here. It'll make the, this a minus du here and a positive over here. And then we can make a substitution here. This will be the integral of, so sine x dx can be replaced by minus du. Put the minus here, and then it's du over cosine of x, but that's u. And of course the integral of du over u, or one u, one over u du, is natural log of u. And then you have the negative here. So this is a negative natural log of absolute u, but u in this case is cosine of x. Okay, and this is how we got this over here. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.